Mm. So, okay. So that was part one. This is part two. Okay. So what we're basically doing is simply forms to explain the shift that is about to come up. Now, if we look, this is the deck from the series deck. Now, series is a as a star seed or is a is a solar solar um and a planet, a planetary system series. Um, you guys can Google it. I, I think his name is uh, um, Doctor Harold G. He is the um, I think is the founder of the UFO um investigation or something like that. But he's very good. Um, so, and he works with series, the Syrians, which is series, okay. And there was a there's, there was a flim that came out about it. Now, so justice with this deck, <laughs> I'm switching. Justice with this deck is karma, okay. Now, people should understand that the cards are just tools, okay. Uh, people channel with the cards and the cards are just tools now there are many saints that and I'm just doing I'll do January February and March differently now the cards are just tools I'm having an M&M and what happens with the cards so it's basically tools okay the cards are tools so what happened and what transpire it's basically that um, the adjustment to this is karma, okay? And if you see, it has to do with water. And there is the lotus. So the water and the lotus is, 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 is really explaining to people in simple terms that it has to do with karma, the returning of karma, the returning of the clarification of who we are on this planet and the changes that is coming and it has to do with water water is purification okay all elements water fire storms and that sort of a thing is purification and this is what happened when the hurt wants to change um we have different sort of, of pu purification now this judgment call is a karma um this judgment call has to do with karma okay it has um or whatever to do and it has to do with karma okay so be aware of that and be um, very aligned with these energies because it has to do with karma okay so if we um, go deeper and we think about how the universe is okay how is the universe um, the universe looks like something like this okay so we have the different planetary systems okay and remember that we have Saturn and Saturn um, has the round circle around it and we have so many um, um, a solar system now on the 24th of January depends on where you are in the world um, you might be able to see um, the, the other planet never um, never so it's um, Nib uh, um, Neptune ne not Neptune never do it's a rock but it's it's a planetary form okay so look at this this is our solar system and I can explain it at this in um, in simple form this is our solar system and imagine that there are all these planets but if you notice that's the energy of the serpent okay and the energy of the serpent the 13 astrological sign which nobody wanted to talk about um, is showing up now okay and that's it's the energy of the serpents, which is the the Ophiuses, um people. That is the people who were born from November twenty seventh until December seventeen. So there's a whole lot that is going on, and there's a whole lot of information that is going to be coming out. Now, if you were born in November twenty ninth to December seventeenth, you're a healer. You are governed by the energy of the serpent. Now, the serpent is always overall in the world. You can see the serpent by a um, wherever you're going to be buying medicine, okay? Because the serpent has the thing for medicine. So, 
there is so many histories and so many information and hidden information that is in plain sight that um, we are not aware of and what is going to be transpiring is that all of these stuff that is in plain sight is going to be coming out and what it's going to be doing it's going to be offering us um, as um, humanity at um, a chance to make a, a to make the shift okay it's going to be offering us as humanity a chance to make the shift now will we make the shift or won't we okay it is up to each and every person but whatever that is about to come and whatever shift because trust me there is a shift coming there is there is it's this is this is something that is unbelievable that is happening where we're having um, this um, opening of the ship that is coming in and this is what is transpired so understand where we are and um, at what place we are and um, why is this going to be taking place because you're seeing all of these situation that is taking place and you're going to be understanding how these situations is going to be transpiring so um, I want to say to each and every person be aware of what is about to, to happen okay this is the other card from the eye princess and look at what is happening it is so it says we're all going to have a ship of consciousness and what does this say um, what does this say it says the higher self the higher self so that's what I just explained to you guys that it's all about the shift in consciousness with the higher self the eye princess high princess so you can think about the high prince and the eye princess if you're a man you're a high prince if you're a woman you're the eye princess and to merge it together it is the higher self which is the source of all things and who we are and the connection who we are on this planet so it is very 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 um, um, simplified I simplified and I make it very simplified in um, a very simple way okay so the I self is what is going to be shifting and aligning and I want people to also for yourself go research this um, YouTube has a lot of video thank God for YouTube um, Google has a lot of videos so if you want and I think videos are very good because it keeps our um, it activate our mind cell um, celebrate okay like I can concentrate on something for an hour um, the the normal person will do it like for 10 minutes and then they lose connection now the I self is what is going to be affecting us especially in um, January and March because whatever the transition is because you can see here in March the 21st of March the energy of the world and it says ascension okay so with whatever the um, the, the the blood moon brings in the month of January it is going to be affecting you in March because in March it is going to take in on the form of ascension okay it's going to be taking on the form of ascension so um, and this is the 21 card so look at the numbers and you can see XXX XXX1 XXX1 and this is from the series star system okay what I'm aligned to and um, what I want to do because I want to go deeper because I can say things but not a lot of people will understand um, what I'm saying star seed people will understand what I'm saying as we look at the fire we see the deity the solar deity that is the Sun that is the source of all things now if you go and search research this you're going to be finding revelation and in revelation it is going to say that fire is coming out of the sky what do you see here you see a ball of fire coming out of the sky okay so there are different ways and different um, different ways and different things um, that is going to be happening to humanity and to um, that is going to be affecting the world because this is this is actually the pigment that Revelation says is that there is going to be a ball of fire that is coming out of the sky. Now, as you look, there is Pegasus, the horse or the unicorn that is there with the ball of fire that is coming out. 
So, um, to break down all of this, I decided to use the cards because they're basically two, um, basically um, tools of uh, an easier way of explaining things. Because I'm, I'm sure sometimes people said, "Oh my God, I have no idea what she's talking about," and um, you know, where is she? Because you know, I'm kind of losing it um, when I'm saying something to people. So. We're going to go to the energy of the book and we're going to be looking for number 20 which is um, judgment and it's going to be telling you what the energy of judgment is and why I have used the stick is because I want to explain to people because Ceres is another solar system Ceres is a planet where all Ceres is a planet where information new technology and information um, they have to say that the black people comes from Ceres. That is one of the explanation for people of my color that um, we're from Ceres, but uh, um, not all of us because I'm a star seed. So I'm from um, a Christian, um, a spiritual planet where um, we um, vibrate only with the energy of love. Okay. So. Um, this is another thing this is mostly for star seed people okay so here we are and we're at the um, the number 20 um, which is <laughs> we are at number 20 um, <laughs> which is the energy of um, um, karma okay so let's go back to the card karma because um, this is very important um, I, I I've done um, so much researches and um, um, I was directed to do um, the, the blood moon reading okay so this is what is going to be coming up in January so this is part two of January blood moon that is going to be coming in and it says star seed has come full circle step by step lesson by lesson he or she has exposed to the life process and growth into the human experience from each example the key of life had to teach just as now he or she is out of growing it preparing to return to the stars but first is a time of recon a time of facing the karma creating through the journeys while religion teach us that this is the moment when the almighty judgmental God weigh our good and bad deeds to determine our cosmic fate star seeds known that we stand only before ourselves throughout our lifetimes and beyond answering only to the karma we have created cause and effects shown to us in other moments on the part are once our aesthetic um, uh, modules as they were in the keys so now each and every one of us has a key okay each and every one of us have a key um, your your um, your twin flame it's either the lock or the key if you're a woman you're the lock and the man is the key okay so when we meet our twin flame we actually have the lock and key for who we as as a true spiritual being as they were in the key of divine justice now divine justice is the balancing okay this key formally called judgment is closely related to this card okay because it's a card of karma judgment is the card of karma and this judgment is going to be coming in um, and they're going to be using the element of water so as we open up our karmatic coach which gently ripple back to us from the slow waters of our soul we determine whether we have truly learned the lesson we came to learn and this is what I've been explaining to people is that we definitely come each this is a life lesson your journey on this planet is basically a life lesson okay you're here learning lessons you're here cleaning karma you're here developing 
so um, here we go um, truly learning the lesson we came to learn preparing to ascend from this level of consciousness or whether we have yet to explore more spin on the wheel of reincarnation in the three-dimensional realm so again I always say to people we were born in the three-dimensional realm and now as we ascend for the 20 um, the card number 21 the ascension so I'm always speaking about ascension so you're seeing that star seeds are now developing card deck so we can understand what is ascension okay so it is bringing us to ascension and it goes as we the wheel of recoordination in the three-dimension realm is it the power of restructuring or rebirth so definitely in January um, information situations are going to be happening um, to awaken us and we are going to be having a recon a reckon with on with ourselves but also a reckon with who we are and what journey we are on and how we are going to be moving forward so everything in life happens for a purpose when this um, masterful key appear it speaks very much to the question of healing old karma to clear the muddy waters of the past preparing the way for the huge leap in um, the evolution okay so forgiveness is going to be one of the most important thing okay and it is time um, to forgive the people forgiving others and oneself is paramount here the question of the quarant is invited not only to look at karma's borders but also to understand that only he or she will answer for themselves, most likely by having to repeat and repeat and repeat a lesson until learned. Words associated with karma include judgment, forgiveness, honesty, facing oneself, and reckoning with oneself. The question the seeker might consider or the following okay so these are questions that in the month of January at the time of the um, blood moon or after the month, blood moon you could be asking yourself do I do I walk my talk have I learned how I have created everything in my world what were the karmatic lesson to be learned have I learned them? Am I truly ready for a transformation of epiphany? Where is my next situation in the greater scheme of things? Have I healed old karmatic patterns and forgiven myself as I have forgiven others? So this is what the blood moon is going to be offering um, you ladies and gentlemen and it is up to you to make this shift and the change it's all about you paying karmas or repaying karmas okay it's all about you um, learning um, the karma because it says this um, the karma includes judgment for forgiveness honesty facing oneself and reckoning okay so ladies and gentlemen um uh, you are really in for um a, a surprise um uh, for this blood moon okay you're really in for a surprise for this blood moon and um we are going to be asking the universal angels or Sirius, the um the star seed of Sirius. Um, what can we expect for the blood moon what can we expect for the blood moon how are we going to be dealing with this and how can we expect uh, what can we expect for the blood moon so let let's see what is going to be coming out 
the eight of crystal now the eight of crystal is work okay whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring it's going to be affecting a lot of people and it has to do with work so people will be um, deciding to change their careers um, with this blood moon it's going to be affecting a lot of people that it's going to shift your consciousness and people are going to be looking um, to work with um, uh, people are going to be basically looking to change their career and find their spiritual divine part okay so karma is where you release and then you're going to be finding your divine um, part master of uh, and this is so beautiful this is uh, the master of the chalice and of course we hear chalice so it's is the master of uh, um, the cups so it's all about love okay it's all about love whoever this person is it's all about love it's all about this person connecting with you for your work or um, you're gonna be um, helped um, by someone it's all about work and it's all about love with this person okay I love these decks because it's all about water so it's all about the emotion and for this blood moon it's all about water there is the sea expect um, tsunamis earthquake under the sea it is tsunamis okay what other message the series star seed will give what other messages the series star seed will give um, abundancy abundancy okay so this is beautiful this is beautiful this is beautiful um um these are new segment that i was guided to do for you guys because um whatever the situation is adam of the flame <laughs> whatever this the, the whatever the situation is um what is happening and what is transpiring is that um uh, whatever especially for you Pisces um, Pisces cancer and scorpion um, this spirit is going to be affecting the Pisces cancer and scorpion um, but it's gonna affect you um, where abundance is going to be coming in your life and a lot of abundance is going to be coming in your life so whatever is happening would work for you Pisces um, it's going to be good um, the effect of water but at the end of the day um, if you're looking how beautiful it's as if um, the, 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 the the structure of hurt is going to be changing and as you look at all that is happening it's as if the veil of illusion is lifting and this is the Empress so some of you Pisces that there's a hidden message for some of you Pisces if you um uh, and I'm, I, I'm saying Pisces I don't know why but um uh, I'm saying Pisces but this energy is the master of cups now the master of cups can be a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and I guess why I'm saying um Pisces is because the hangman is the energy of the Pisces so for you Pisces what this message is basically saying is that some of you Pisces are going to be connecting in work situations with um, um, a Capricorn and you're going to be making a lot of money okay um, this um, is showing you that you guys are going to be um, connecting with a Capricorn and this Capricorn because the, the Empress is the energy of the Capricorn but it's also um, the uh, energy of abundancy always the Empress whenever the energy of the Empress comes up and I love how um, the Syrians did this deck um, to let you know that this Empress is about so you um, um, to, um, uh, Pisces is going to be connecting with a Capricorn and you're going to be working together with this Capricorn and you're going to be um, financially stable 
money is going to you guys are going to be making money so this blood moon because the energy of the hangman has to do with the Pisces especially for the Pisces you working with a Capricorn is going to bring you a lot of money money is going to be just I'm pouring out of the skies okay basically pouring out of the sky so um, it's also if you Pisces are in relationship with a Capricorn mend as you mend this relationship this relationship is going to bring you a lot of financial stability you Pisces okay for the rest of the water sign the cancer and the scorpion it is going to be um, re um, readjustment of work your career you might be thinking about changing your career for whatever the reason is you might be just thinking about changing your career so it is basically an realignment for your career okay so um, this is just basically powerful um, I'm gonna be um, taking a picture and then I'm going to be leaving it to, um, to show um, what is going to be um, the energies uh, um, for um, this quarter okay uh, for this first blood moon okay so everything is changing there is just basically changes that is coming up and um, this is how we are um, going to be dealing with the changes okay so I'm wishing you a wonderful blood moon whatever is going on um, I'm hoping the best for you guys. Namaste.